well on the angle. A lot of utility as well. The last pick, Nolan on Super Ken. I thought, yeah, I thought Kari was the best option for uh, Heiz if they want to use it because they have two frontline, take Tigreal and the high loss. It can. Will Pigaton Alpha inch even oh. further to O? Or will they be able to defend that 1 1 for Alter Ego? Is that a revitalized Phobius I spy on the side of Alter Ego? I mean, throughout the drafting base, we were wow. so confused. We thought the Gato Kacha was definitely going to show out earlier, but. Again, a lot of plans here, a lot of mind games from both teams. That's a revitalized though, with two purifies, Alter Ego, with all the respect towards Pikachu and Alpha. Yeah, so much respect from the damage coming in. And he needs the sustainability to really win, really win out against the high loss. Now mid trial again, Owen around all might be in Ooh, trouble. Wow, Purify baited out early, Super Cannon with the cooldown boots. The emblems though, Arashi, anything in particular? Oh, the agility. Oh, hang on a minute. Owen. This might be a flicker bait. Nope. Moreno walking forward again. Just clears the wave. All right. Looking at the emblems. Agility and tenacity for uh, for Key allows him to roam around, which is why earlier, the fact that level one or level two even, you can just shove someone out of position so early on. It's just so value. High is going for full defense, knowing that there's so much burst damage, so much aggression coming in from Bigatron. Only to make sure that he can have enough time to stay alive to kind of play the drawn out fight. Because again, with two fighters, you are the ones who want to fight to actually go the distance and allow the backline members to actually do their jobs. So we'll have to wait and see, man. All three go. They're going with a very defensive approach, even though in theory, with the low Yi, they want to be the ones aggressing here. Yeah. So defense, so one looking for a full Nile. Sort of alpha. Key flickers out of that. Big flicker bursted or wasted here for the side of BTR. Yeah. The items previously two warrior boots coming in from the Luo Yi, Roundel and also Heiz. They need that physical defense, that that bit physical defense to really just rile and deal with Bigatron Alpha's physical burst. If you like Turtle, getting for free for Nile. That's the pressure coming in from the jungle, from the EXP and the mid lane on the top side of the map. It's definitely too risky. Marina tries to try and rotate around, get something. Oh, look at this though. A little bit of a skirmish over. Super can trying to go for. A little bit of flank, it's gonna be him pinned down over with a flicker and Super Ken oh. will be compromised. First blood over to Heiss. Good proactive play with a diversion up top towards the purple buff. They corral and take down Super Ken. That is a huge, huge kill towards Heiss. Definitely an interesting play right there. It's the right idea, right? They go into the jungle of Vigachar and when they don't find Super Ken, they're like, okay, where could this guy be, right? This guy that wants to always be active on this side of the map. Maybe he's in our jungle, and they do spot him and chase him down. Look at this, oh, Owen being targeted by the Ruby, man. It's a pesky matchup when you're a Tigreal trying to find ways to be effective against a Ruby. Right, that's the one advantage that Alt Hugo kind of has to try and deny all these divers. You know, maybe delaying them a bit with that Donald Wolf here. Roundo very low. This might be an assassination. Roundo, way too overextended. I think Owen had info that Supercat was in that bush. Yeah, he met with the key down bottom of the river. And now even for Aman, he's gonna walk up towards mid, looking to pressure this, get that prior on mid, and prepare themselves for a turtle coming in in 40 seconds. And Heiz will just clear down a bottom. Three players attacking, stolen diversion. They're gonna make a flank play right here. Uh-oh. Might actually read in perfectly into Niles. Oh, passing. Removed over in bottom lane. They finally, I think they see him. Oh, Nile uh -oh. spotted. No flicker. Oh, glorious pathway coming down now. Oh, no, no! he gets the wall! The worst possible Spear of Alpha happening here with the Vitalize as well. Now the implosion to lock Owen down. A brilliant play. Secure them, Pryo, on the turtle. A mini blunder there from the defensive Spear of Alpha, but Heist next in the chopping block. Yes, purify. But I don't think you can purify damage. They're just gonna all in him under the turret. Crossbow attack, unnecessary. They won't even go for the turtle. They're just gonna go for the gold underneath that turret, Luke. Taking a whole lot of damage. Amon still oh. has crossbow tank. Now he brought back again. Amon in the midst of it all. Needs one more weakness point, but will not be able to find it. A big blunder from inside of Big Eton. Alpha is alter ego. Take the advantage back. Oh, they took that fight, and now they lose all control over the turtle. Man, alter nice. ego with a bit of a win. Man, good things come to those who wait, and alter ego, surprisingly, is looking like the more patient team as Nino. Walks up. Oh, oh, but I'm offended. Quicker combo. Super loot on the glorious pathway. Spear of Alpha to lock him down. To take that kill, Moreno. Steals the diversion away, and Bigatron Alpha, they've lost that lead. Oh, that lead that they had earlier, 
They were setting their eyes on the turtle, but then they overextended off to Ego. They're able to turn it towards their favor, even getting that purple buff control, and even the turtle as well. Now, diversion play again by Roundel, but just to give Heist that space in the bottom lane. All right, man, now a bit of a lull in the action. But once again, you can see that Vicky and Alpha, they're trying to find their way around the map a bit more reliably, but Alter Ego with the built-in diversion that had that have to be stolen with the IMU, they able to actually find a lot more moments here. But look at this game fact by our new application, GoPay. Among all MPL regions, Moreno is the only mid laner to achieve a Maniac, not just once, but twice. Not even a few can do it. Moreno. He steps up on these big games. He was the game changer oh. in game number one. But the diversion play now looking for something. Nile might again be the same victim right here. But oh! Implosion locks him down. The first pathway as well. Great picks for BTR with the diversion. The fact that they're able to find the jungle again and again, it's a great value. And because we get trying to playing this dynamic style, Nino's kind of left alone. This is a strong laner to follow because it wants to kind of go and do it out. But since he's kind of left alone, uh, you know, to just clear the waves, you can see he's falling behind you in the maneuverability. Bigatron, I guess, outmaneuvering Alter Ego, even though in theory, Alter Ego can, is supposed to be able to match this as well. Yeah, the items now. Thunderbolt completed for Nino, and even the Talisman for Roundel to give them an extra cooldown reduction. But anything in particular you see, Arashi? Well, they're starting on the side once again, followed by most likely the glowing one from Moreno. Yeah. So it's, it's a combo that's kind of working really well for him. And on top of that, you saw, I think it's a uh, super can starting to build up some of the items. Not really at that maximum burst power spike just yet, but I think he's still willing to go in for the contest. Now is one level down. Turtle, half HP, Moreno. Team with the Amafenda. Key implosion! Oh. Over to the back. Oh. Amafenda gonna be safe just now. It's now goes with the oh. combo. The combo is massive. Nino walks up forward. Damage coming down. Nihil will fall. Nino getting another stack on the Infernal Pursuit over to Super Luke, who will not be able to survive. A hold up just a second. This horse is a tanky boy. Oh. Ice gets the kill. That's a three for one. But Turtle over to BTR. They're not stopping here. Moreno spots it. Goes for the Terrify. Flickers out. Iman walking off. Now gonna be popped. By the Infernal Pursuit, Nino decides against going in with the Infernal Pursuit. Bigatron disengages, Heiz in the bottom lane, getting a free turret. This is so valuable for Alter Ego. Look at Heiz just spinning and gunning down that bottom side turret. They are also able to collapse onto Bigatron Alpha on that little skirmish down bottom. But Key, with the Conceal looking for something, but no. Heiz will just go away scot free. Man, Bigatron, you're getting great engages, but afterwards, they gotta be a bit more aware of the composition. When you're against a Lo Yi and a Fovius, you get grouped up together by the Yin Yang effect, mm -hmm. and then just bounced on by Nino, getting hit by all the damage coming in from Owen as well, you know, just all the AoE. You gotta be careful in the spacing, right? Initially, after the implosion, go get your burst damage out, and then spread apart, man. You can't stick around together when you're against a team like All True Ego. Looking at the player head to head here between Nile and Superken, one of the highlight of matchups, Superken definitely still has the edge, using that mobility and using the fact that Vigatron has been again and again using the diversion to target Nile in the jungle, yeah. right? Slowing down his farming speed. So even though in theory the the Nolan and the Alpha has the same clear speed, Vigatron is getting an advantage there in the jungle department, but that can only last for so long. I mean, Nile has already caught up. Yeah, only one completed by Moreno and. If you take a look at Nino, he has six assists. Out of seven kills that Alter Ego has, Nino has been present for most of the six times they fought. You know, Super Luke might be the one to open the bush, but he might be caught! I'm offended, used up already. Nino, will he go for Infernal Pursuit? Super Luke pops in Revitalize. Moreno goes for a little bit of poke. Lord Pry over to BTR. Super Ken dealing with the wave in the mid lane. But take a look at Heise. Busy, always on this Moscow. Always on the split push, always on the seg way play, looking to just open up the side lanes and. Aman will be the one to catch it. And this is the way they will distract Vigatron Alpha. Who really responds to this Marae uh, to, to this Moscow? But oh, oh, oh. Flicker, Spear of Alpha. Already used up key now with the implosion as well. Bursting it down. Yeah. Owen! Wow! Didn't expect him to disappear like that! Vigatron's got burst! Oof. They will work on the Lord though, Nino. This is free! Back off. This is free! For Picatron Alpha, Alpha Ego, they don't have anything to do with this. But Moscow will be up top looking to get the turret. No, not even the turret. They get the Lord, oh, and they get an Alpha, they grab everything they have. Man, that's so good, man. The burst onto Owen. Like we said, the Ruby as well is a utility type of hero. She just isn't really inherently tanky. And Iman, with that advantage, picks up the win of nature. Still won't help him against Nino. 
against Nile as well with the true damage. But it's definitely a great addition there when it comes down to those tricky outplay moments, considering how close Emana has been playing. He's been right next, up close and personal to the members of Ultra Ego. Now with the Lord on their side, can they actually go for something here? Glorious pathway to the virus diversion as well. For a oh! nice implosion from Key! Finding three, great purify, Spear of Alpha, baited out. Key getting the shove on the three now. Super can walk and forward with the fracture. Nile, very low. Oh. Will not be taken down. Now Iman walks forward looking for all the weakness points. Will be able to find it. Iman gets the inspire, but luckily, oh, that's a winner Ten. crown. Nino Low Super Super again with the assassination on the fracture. Oof. Man, once the winner crown gets used up, they can't defend him. Huh? Eh? Oh, oh, wrong side of the base. Pops into the with nature. Gets out of the base. Risky plays from BTR. Oh, Super Ken gets the fracture and the passive from the turret pops. Thankfully, they have that second life, that second win. But Vicatron Alpha, they're just running rampant and running it down against Ultra Ego. They lose Nino, they lose highs. That was the perfect pincers movement coming in from Ultra Ego, rather from Vicatron Alpha. I mean, dude, the, the fact that they were able to actually go in and out again and again, bait out resources from Ultra Ego, was just so, so good. And looking at the advantage here, 2.5k gold, more or less, for Super Ken, almost 1.5 for Moreno. Both of them, in that previous fight, dealt close to 10,000 damage on the hero that's essentially cooldown based. They're able to get in, get their damage out, hide away in safety, out of vision, and come back in. Ultra Ego, if they want any chance of winning this game, they have to find ways to force Vicatron Alpha to commit. The same way they did in the previous fight, where Ultra Ego were able to get all of the value. But with the adjustment from Vicatron, you're seeing it with how they position, with how they approach the fights, from two different angles, with starter timing. Ultra Ego are definitely struggling right here to get a right read. And because of that, even the diversion from Rondo hasn't really been able to be used to its full effect from Ultra Ego. Yeah. I have to bank on a, mom on a momentum, but... It's so hard because Pikachu and Alpha, they have way too many collapse tools they can use. Even Super Luke just constantly opening up his body. The Glorious Pathway looking to just run around Ultra Ego. And this is going to be a tough hill to climb. Even Pikachu and Alpha just waiting for the momentum yeah. to catch Ultra Ego. Ultra Ego is just caged in their base. They don't have control of their own jungle. They don't even, they don't even have control of the side lanes as well. Now then the question becomes, how does Ultra Ego really play this out? Will they play the base defense? Scenario? I feel like the base defense scenario isn't as good as it was in game number one. Now they have to find ways to kind of catch Big and Alpha in a combo, right? Group them together and then get all those AoE damage in. But Bigatron, look at that setup, dude. Gathering on the far side of the map away from the Lord to ensure that Heiz does not have a safe time to really go for the Sightland push. Now they see both the Loyi and the Moskov, Big and Alpha are gonna try and force them to try and make a move and they have done it. Look at Moreno. He spotted the diversion. He spotted Moskov now in the mid lane, clearing out the wave. Vicatronalpha with the Pryo key. Walking up forward now with the Spear of Alpha. He will not be able to find it with a crown. Nice up. SOD Super can winning out the Red Tree battle. Nile will be locked down now with the Crossbow Tang as well. Again, Super can getting out. Crossbow Tang not getting rid of it. Memana popped over the nature as Nino jumps oh! for the pursuit. Luke for Nile, but the Lord again goes to the hands of BTR. Oh, oh. Diversion play all the way to the back. Roundel. His position is compromised. Moreno walks up forward, goes in high. Oh, oh. From Super Ken. Nino with the Infernal Pursuit, chasing Super Ken down. He should be taken out, but no, he gets out. And Mon baits in Infernal Pursuit towards his side. Gets all the weakness points. Doesn't have the crossbow attack. Not about to but Iman will be shut down. Moreno gets the trade over. Owen with a flicker forward. Backwards, rather. Now as the Lord has taken the base turret. I don't know if that was worth it. Ultra Ego fought when the Lord was up. Owen getting caught by the Fracture Moreno for Where's moving up? forward. The zone over. BTR 6,000 gold ahead. That is match point. Two to zero. The nail in the coffin in the last fight. They were able to match it out in the Lord pit. But somehow with the stolen diversion, they're able to shut down the rotations from Highs, from Nino and Bigatron. They strike twice. Alter Ego on a thin, thin threat they hold. One loss away from going home early. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're at match point. Bigatron Alpha.